and the dead shall outnumber the living. Get out of this Africa thing because we're still looking at that piece of continent. You see what I'm saying? And the whole earth is ours and we don't understand. That is just as sacred as Kilimanjaro. You know what I'm saying? And most people still don't get it that, hey, all of that is our land. If they, if they go up in the doggone Iceland, that's our shit. Like you're saying, black people out here and stuff as far as what they do, we got to get off that because the simple fact, that doesn't exist. The masses don't exist as far as being a people that we're together with. Now, oh shit, boy, it's t if we talk about some stuff jumping off, like public enemies say, let's get it on. You know, there's a sign that there's a shift and a paradigm shift is going on because they're the first to know it. So in actuality, I welcome it. You see what I'm saying? If you get off the paranoia, it's beautiful what the hell Bush and all them doing. Hell, it's giving my life a little more fucking excitement. <laughs> look at it, take it off of the emotional level and look at the bigger picture. There's some great shit going on right now, boy. You know what I'm saying? You just sit back and watch the stars and all. But then again, on the other hand, we, we got to get out of the outmoded aspect of what we call liberation of black folks. That's romanticism. And try to look at this thing on a bigger cosmic scale. We'll get into a more, more spiritual aspect of that in a few minutes. What's that? And what was given based on the psychic realm was our souls was fighting a spiritual war. So when they had one war going on, there was a spiritual war going on, and guess whose souls was in that war? Your souls were fighting the physical war. So let's say they fought all day, which would be night when we wake up, they would be tired. And we wake up in the daytime and it was tired. So there was a whole cosmic thing going on, our spiritual warfare going on, and they was losing that war, and that's why they had to put the distress signal up. You see what I'm saying? You gotta go look at the movie Core. Because the movie core is the is, is heart was supposed to be in the heart was supposed to take in the signals of the earth's kundalini and shooting it back down into the ground. That's why most people sex drive is very low now. Especially the sisters. Sex drive is very low now. That's why you can have thousands of women in, in Chicago and everywhere going celibate. We talked about that. Going to get their PhDs. It's, it's a whole craze of women, all black women around the country going celibate. But they can do this and stuff because their heart is shooting the, 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 the Earth's kundalini energy back into the ground. Now they showed that on the movie Core when it was all messed up with the, 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 this thing, the core was messed up. When it all, when, when, when it was all said and done, it was a group like Harp that had messed up the core by trying to shoot the, the, the electromagnetic feed force field or the, or the waves or whatever you call it, back into the ground. In this case, the metaphysical is the Kundalini force. So now they went over to, they went over to Iraq because now in this particular part, if they talk about Ishtar, Ishtar is a very promiscuous deity. And this is the same one that took on a hundred guys in, in one mythology and left them all on the ground uh, drain. So now, in this particular case, it's the same entity that did this in, 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 uh, uh, in another mythology. It's called Ishtar Will Not Tire. And she took on, you know, she had like 60 guys. She, she screwed them all in the, in the mythology. This is the same one and stuff like I really admire her and stuff like that and stuff, you know. So anyway, Pfizer. Now look at this. It says, these 72 kings and princes, which King Solomon commanded in a vessel of brass, together with the legions thrown, uh, together with the legions, uh, whom Belial, Belial, Asmadei, Gath, were chiefs. And it is to be noted that Solomon did this because of their pride and never declared a reason why he thus bound them. So he, Solomon comes and binds these entities up. Go get the movie Wishmaster with him. Bound these entities up and put them in, put it in the stone. And put it in the, in, in the actual uh, statue. So Solomon bound these particular ones up because of their pride. And he says, and then he thus bound them up 